Hello, and welcome to Alchemist Craft. Today we're going to make a poisoned water treatment station. Let's get started. Okay, so first I cut a five centimeter bit of pipe from this, t from this piece here. This is just a tube from some foil or cling film packaging. After you cut the pipe, you'll make a base. I have drawn out here the layout of the different bits. So I'm gonna have a pipe here, the main building right here, and a little deposit for coal or something powering this building. I will now cut it out. Here it is. Next, I will cut the pieces for the walls. I am making the walls out of card from some food packaging. Here, I have two pieces. I have made one shorter than the other, so I can make a slanted roof. I have made these to fit with the figures I have. One's taller than the figure and one's shorter. This gives us this gives quite a nice look. Now glue these pieces on. Here we are. Once the other walls are in, they will be straightened up more. I will now add the roof. I have cut out the bit. They will sit like this. Now I've glued it in, I really quite like it. The card has a bit of a bend in it, which gives it more of an old, saggy feeling. It's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Now, to make the side walls, I will lay the card down underneath and trace it, then cut it out. I'm doing this so there's quite a tight fit, so there'll be no, there will be not next to no gaps. I will just cut out the shape of the inside and not leave a little slim bit for the roof here. Here, I've cut the two pieces. I will stick them on the sides now. Now I have glued the sides on, I will also glue on this pipe. Now I have glued the pipe on, I'm going to add a bit of water effect by just squidging the glue around here in a bit of a pool. I'm going to make the pool quite big and thick around here to make it look like there's water coming out of it. Now I'm going to make tiles on the roof. I use this, make this effect by cutting out squares unevenly of card. Then I'll stick it down overlapping the end and the sides like this. If you do this all the way up and along, it will give a nice, rough, broken tile kind of thing. So, here, I've added all the slates. It looks quite good. Now the walls are going to be metal, and so is the pipe. So I'm going to add some strips of card to be like metal bands holding the sheet sheets of metal together. Oh, I just remembered. After adding this strip, I still, I remembered that I still wanted to make a little box for coals to go. I will add that now. It will just have three walls like this, four walls like this, but I won't have a roof. I have now added the little coal holder right next to the building. I think it adds something to it. Now I will add a little fake bottom right here. You'll see what I mean later. Here I've added that extra bottom bit here and I'm going to stick polystyrene onto it like this. This gives an effect when painted black of coal 
and I think it'll look epic. You get that bubbly stuff by just ripping polystyrene like this. I'll cover the bottom with glue and just stick it on. I have added coals. I will add a rim around this. There we go. I've added a rim around it. I went ahead and added the rim around the pipe. Now the last detail before we add the flocking is a door at the back. It is important that you make your door big enough so it looks like a figure could fit through it. It will not open and close, but it would look a bit weird if there was a building with no door. I will just use it, cut out a bit of card and stick it over. There's the door. I will cut out a small circle to add as door handle. To make the door handle, I am going to stick on this small square and then the handle on top. It will then stick out more and have a more 3D effect. It's a little bit more sticking out than if it were just one piece of card. And you can imagine like you could really actually open it. I will now add one more piece of metal banding like this and then cover the thing in PVA glue and flocking. I added the final band and I also decided to add an arc here that gives a nice 3D and more depth to the build. Now, I'm using some big bits of flocking that I showed how to make in, the, in my previous video. I'll put the link in the description. I will stick these on, rounded about, in little piles to give the effect of rubble piles rounded about. Now, I will cover things with PVA glue. I will start looking for the ground. Some big bits, medium bits, and small bits, all around it. This will look great, like a gravelly effect when it's all painted. And these will look like big fallen stones or slabs from the ground. I will now add flocking like I did in my first video on the building and the pipes. This will hide any cracks and give it a rusty broken effect as well. I'll do that now. Here it is. I've mainly covered the cracks in the cardboard so you don't see them as much. And I've also added bits like here just for extra detail. I am now going to spray this black with an airbrush, but you can paint it with just any brush you have. grey coat. Then I will have the roof be darker. There we go. I have painted it metal. I will now add rust effect using a, a paint called burnt umber. If you apply it very lightly it gives the effect of rust. Here we go. I really like the effect it gives. Now I will paint the whole base with mahogany. I will apply it very thickly so it's dark and doesn't end up like the rust effect. Here we go. Now I'm going to get my brushes out and paint rivets on the metalwork. I will also try and dry brush the roof to give the slates more highlights and definition. I might do this on other parts of the metalwork as well. I will also 
also use Death Guard Green to paint the toxic water. Now I will add Irax Earthshade. This is a shade paint from Citadel. I will cover the whole thing in it and it will give a nice browny muddy effect. And for the roof I will use Null in the oil. This is a black shade paint from Citadel as well. I think it looks really good. There's tons of great places for figures to stand. Some bits could do with touching up, but I will do that later. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and if you want to get notified when I make more click the bell icon thank you for watching see you next time